are and welcome to Joseph's Model Railway and Toy Room. Thank you so much as always for joining me. A little bit of housekeeping. You don't need to like, follow or subscribe. I just put the videos out there where I can and have a holy jolly great time doing so. Now in today's video, well, we're going to keep with the short themes at the moment as we build up to Christmas in 2023. There's a lot to get done. And this one doesn't necessarily apply to the room itself, but it's an important tool we all need. And there's nothing wrong with the tool. I just thought it needs a little bit of a Joseph touch added to it, just to make it a bit cooler for my requirements. What are we banging on about? Well, join me today and have a quick look at how you can personalize your equipment and take it up a notch. Why? Because it's quick and easy. Well, here we are. As you would have seen when we were constructing the forest section, I needed extra weight. And it just so happened that I had a bench vise that arrived and uh, coming in at at least about uh, 10 kilos or thereabouts, the perfect solution for what we needed. Now it's a great vise, but there's just one thing I think we can do a little bit better. So let's crack it open and get started with it, shall we? Yes, I realize how depressing this scene looks, but rest assured, in a few months, we've got to make it all disappear and get the room looking normal again, to which I have a great idea about what we're going to do to temporarily achieve two solutions at once. But in the meantime, we all need a vice, and that's what this one's about today. So here we go. I'm not even going to bother moving the box. It's just too heavy. But as mentioned, you certainly saw me using it when we were building the forestry section uh, to weight down uh, what we needed to do. So let's open it up. That's not quite the shade of green I was hoping for, but it will do. Let us carry on. Here we are with a brand new vice. Now, what could we possibly need to do that hasn't already been done with something that's brand new? Well, it's really not much at all, but it's just something I saw on this particular YouTube video where they restored a uh, older style vice. What really got to me about it is it's a tremendous video that's very therapeutic to watch, but it happened to be with the actual badge where they actually just took some white paint and painted it. And against the green, I thought it really popped. Again, this shade of green is more of a eucalypt green to me. I was hoping for something just a fraction darker, even if it was something like off of the static grass applicator, just something along this type of shade of color, but not to despair. What are we doing today? We're gonna to put some white paint on the text and that's all we're doing. One ruined shirt later, and here we are. Now, what is this video really about? What's this got to do with train sets and everything else? Well, everyone does need a vice for various bits and pieces. And while we might not need something quite this industrial sitting here in this room, sometimes I do need something. It is going to be uh, living out uh, in the shed. However, the whole idea of what I wanted to share with you is, was a great opportunity just to practice uh, a little bit of finer painting techniques. As you can see, my painting is absolutely hopeless. But from that distance, I think this is a, a great improvement on what it traditionally was. Again, if it was that slightly 
darker green. I think we would have had a lovely pop of color there, but it is what it is, and I think it was well worth doing. Um, so great practice with a little bit of paint and trying to keep the hand steady, especially when we're trying to do that uh, ampersand. I'm not really gonna bother about doing some sort of a technical review or anything because I really haven't used it. It seems pretty good, and uh, I believe I paid just under $100 for it. I mean, it certainly got the weight. That's gotta be 10 or 12 kilos at least there. But uh, a couple of things, while we can obviously um, uh, turn it to the side and adjust it accordingly, uh, the reference point, which is zero, there is no way of actually homing it in. There's no markings on it, which I found a little bit surprising. Anyway, I'm sure you'd know what you need to be doing anyway. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. It needs to go and get bolted down onto the workbench now in the shed. That's pretty much all I've got for you today. So as always, girls and boys, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Stay safe. Toodles.